All right, folks, welcome to Steve's Kitchen. I am Steve from Middle Kingdom Fitness, and I am going to try a brand new recipe. I saw something on Facebook that I think I can make a version that remotely resembles it, a little bit healthier. I don't have all the ingredients. I didn't get a chance to go out to the store or anything, but I'm going to give it my best shot. I don't even know what to call it, but you're going to be a witness to this. It will either be amazing or it'll be the biggest fail on social media ever. Okay, so let's get the chicken breasts. Here we go. Let's get two eggs. Here we go. Let's get some oatmeal. Here we go. Let's get a plate. Okay, so the first thing I am going to do, actually I need a bowl. I'm going to crack my eggs and put them in the bowl. Two whole eggs. Very rare that I eat a yolk, by the way. I'm going to stir it up. And then I'm going to put a chicken breast in the egg. Flip it over, let it soak. I'm going to get myself another small plate here. Here we go. What? Trying to show you everything here. And now I'm going to spin this around so you can actually see. And it's not letting me do it. Hmm. So let's do another take. Okay, so here we go. Um, I've now turned the camera around. And I have the chicken soaking. And now I'm going to take my oatmeal. Spin this around. Oh, there you go. Okay. That's kind of weird. And I'm going to pour it into the bigger bowl. Just coating the bottom. Spreading it out evenly. I'm going to take the chicken. And I'm going to dip it. And I'm going to dip it. And I'm feeling kind of good, so I'm going to make another one. See if I can find a smaller chicken breast. I don't want to go nuts. That's kind of big. All right. Much smaller. Dipping it. And I'm going to coat it with the oatmeal get the pan out of my way get some of the oatmeal off of my hands and now we're going to put it in the air fryer I have these little uh, paper jobbies See it in the air fryer. Get my canola oil spray running very low. And I'm going to put my chicken breasts 
in the pan. Turn it on, 180 degrees for 15 minutes. And uh, let's check on that when it's done. All right, folks, welcome to Steve's Kitchen. I am Steve from Middle Kingdom Fitness, and I am going to try a brand new recipe. I saw something on Facebook that I think I can make a version that remotely resembles it. A little bit healthier. I don't have all the ingredients. I didn't get a chance to go out to the store or anything, but I'm going to give it my best shot. I don't even know what to call it, but you're going to be a witness to this. It will either be amazing or it'll be the biggest fail on social media ever. Okay, so let's get the chicken breasts. Here we go. Let's get two eggs. Here we go. Let's get some oatmeal. Here we go. Let's get a plate. Okay, so the first thing I am going to do, actually I need a bowl. I'm going to crack my eggs and put them in the bowl. Two whole eggs. Very rare that I eat a yolk, by the way. I'm going to stir it up. And then I'm going to put a chicken breast in the egg. Flip it over, let it soak. I'm going to get myself another small plate here. Here we go. What? Trying to show you everything here. And now I'm going to spin this around so you can actually see. And it's not letting me do it. Hmm. So let's do another take. All right, the air fryer is just about finished doing its job. I'm very excited to see what this is. Um, I just wanted to keep this rolling and recording so you could see that it was not um, prepared or doctored in any way. And now what you're seeing is the real-time video of my recipe. I'm very excited. Now the original recipe called, uh, it said that it had 58 grams of protein. I think maybe mine might be a little bit less. Um, the video was not clear on how much chicken breast you should include. It said uh, two breasts cut in half, but it didn't give any kind of weight. So we'll see. We're just about ready to do the unveiling. Here it comes. Love my air fryer, by the way. Use it at least twice a day. I was very depressed when it was not working properly, but we've had it fixed since. Just waiting, and it's on zero, so it should be stopping at just about any second now. Temperature is a little bit low, actually, but that's okay. And I'm just going to unplug it because I can't wait anymore. Okay, looks pretty good. Let's put it on the plate. So there it is. It's plated, but... That's not really the test that we need. We need to see how good it tastes. Here's the big moment. Let's see how it tastes. 
uh, knife and fork. Cuts very easily. Very good. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not the, the greatest thing I've ever tasted, but it's a nice change of pace from the chicken, the plain chicken breast that I always eat. I will do it again. So if you want the link for this recipe, uh, just hit me up in a comment or in a message and I'll be happy to share it with you. Thanks a lot. You guys have a good dinner. Stay safe, stay positive.